Hey, today we are going to draw chaining beam, the parapet wall, girder, and the roof for this project. Do you want to miss out? Let's find out in our comment section. Directly into our roof from the beams. So I'm, going, so I'm going to click on beams and my beams I'm going to use 0 0.30 by 0 0.15 make sure you set your beams to 0 0.30 by 0 0.15 and you click on ok so elevation here is set to 0 0.30 start click on beams 0 0.30 so you just press all the exterior beams when you reach here you add 0 0.4 in front Sure here you also add 0 0.4 so you type in 0 0.4 and um, you can add this the next thing is to draw the beams inside here so I'm going to click on my beams 0 0.20 and uh, the beam will drop so the beam here i'm going to have 0 0.20 click out here and trace the beam i'm also going to do the same thing here click out here and trace the beam right to this edge the beam inside here we can measure and see our distance our, our gutter is 0 0.25 so we have a front gutter and a back gutter. the roof divides into two for this building so we have one in front here so i'm going to take beams and i'm going to hover over here and click right up to here draw the parapet wall so i'm going to click on walls the parapet wall here the thickness i want it to be 0 0.15 meters and um, i want the height of the wall to be one meter so set the height of your wall to be one meter and you should start from 0 0.30 i'll click on ok i'm just going to trace out all exterior walls so i'm going to see what i've done on 3d i've traced out all the exterior walls which are my parapet walls now we we'll discover that here we still have a problem because the gutter space hasn't been arranged so I'm going to form another wall here after forming the other wall here I'm going to move to 3d and see what I have done as you can see it's divided into two compartments one roof is going to go behind and the other one is going to come in front and we have to input some slabs in front here we're going to come here and um, click on slabs and the slabs i want to use here is 0 0.1 meter thickness change the slab i want the slab to start at 0 0.10 so i'm going to hover over here and form a rectangular slab this way in front here i'm going to do the same i'm going to form a slab here and equally form another slab in front here and this slab i want it to have a fall of i want it to start from zero zero so if i come to 3d i'll see that i have a slab in front here which is okay then i have a ceiling here so this ceiling here falls down so i'm going to change its color i'm going to click here and um, go to slabs and change the color so i'm going to use spherical dash rough for all okay so this is this will primarily be made from wood so when we go to our rendering software we'll change the material to wood in front here i'm going to click this to I'm going to select these two slabs all these walls here I'm going to highlight the walls and change the color change the color so I'm going to move to walls and under model to give it wall finishing paint and I'm going to choose paint amalgam come in 
for all of them then I'm going to click OK so as we can see we have inputted the parapet wall but one thing we have to do is now to put the roof on the parapet so as you can see here will be our gutter where water is going to fall inside and um, so our roof is going to fall this way okay the next thing we are supposed to do is double click on roof and um, I'm going to come where we have this and I'm going to reduce it to 0.05 the angle of my roof I'm going to take negative 11.25 and from project height 7 current story 0 I'm just going to click on OK I make sure that at this 1.00 I put 1.25 click here click here I select the direction of my roof click here I click here then the, I trace it right down to this beam I want the roof to fall at this beam click and um, finally so I'm going to have my room roof forming this way I'm going to form the other roof this other way so I'm going to click on roof click here click here and I'm going to choose the direction to fall this way and I start back on the same place click here and I trace throughout the roof Okay, so I'll form the roof. Let's look at how it looks like on 3D. So as you can see, we have formed the roof. The roof falls on this beam which actually goes on this gutter. And the same way, this way, the roof will fall here where we have this gutter. So we have our roof all set up. And we have our building this way. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to arrange the surrounding. So I'm going to move down to foundation story. On foundation story, I'm going to click on slab. And I'm going to change this slab and choose choose any material. I prefer carpet, lino, and I choose lino blue. Here I'll choose va variable geometry, polygonal. And I'm going to form the area where my building is. Close it here. And from here to here, I have two meters behind the house. my external surrounding this way I'm going to click on slab and from here I highlight all the slab and make sure I set them all to 1.30 meters and I move to 3D I'm going to see something like this and uh, I'm going to move up to my ground floor and make sure that I draw the gate so the gate will be walls and I want the walls to be 1.5 met, 1 meters height and starting from 0, 0.00 that's from here As you can see the gate is, sus is suspending so click on all the walls of the gate and um, send it down to negative 0 0.3 because it's eating the part of the ground beam so the wall now isn't floating again the wall now is okay now I have to click on all the slabs and give them different colors I'm going to highlight on the slab of the building and uh, I want to give it Lino check it for the road slab I want to give it Lino gray okay 
the next thing we're supposed to put in this building is the railings and I have to go to ground floor come to railings I want to use use a frameless glass panel and um, segments and make sure it's at one meter here and I press OK trace the external from here to here and finally to here I'm going to press OK and I'll go to the first floor and put the railing on the same place first floor I'll trace the railing here can go to our 3D and see how our rain looks like. Ready for the rendering of this project? Sunday by 6 a.m. If you enjoyed this content, make sure you like and subscribe. We would like to hear what you think about this video on our comment section. See you on Sunday. Bye.